perfectly. Look at this. Whoa! So, Amalia, our first nice. panna copita. And I want to say I like it, but I don't like it. I think it's a four. This is the lowest rate yet. It looks beautiful. It's bigger than my eye. So this is for us to eat Greek all week. Whoa! I will give it a nine because I love it. We want to present you. <laughs> this is definitely the best one yet. What kind of soup is this? I told you it's a creamy soup. It's not the usual soup. I will be honest with you. It's not that good. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That I don't like about this is that it tastes. This is the best break I ever had. We are cooking only traditional, authentic Greek food for an entire week. As foreigners, we will attempt to make some local recipes for the first time, trying to cook just like the locals and probably making a few mistakes along the way. We will rate them and see which one will be our favorite by the end. Will our dishes turn out just how they do here in Greece, or we will totally mess them up? You try it and see. Well, let's see, wish us luck. We are attempting to make bugatta. For breakfast? Yes. So we have all the ingredients here. Vanilla bean. What's that, Amanda? Mistakes happen. You did it again. Do you know this is healthy, the eggshell? Mm. A lot of calcium in there. You should eat it. <laughs> eat it. <laughs> okay, sugar. By the way, I'm cooking with my left hand. Raul cooking. <laughs> now it's gonna get messy. Do you think it will fit? No, we need a bigger. bigger bowl. And it's a lot of bugazza. We won't eat it all. We're gonna share this bugazza with the first 10 people that subscribe to our channel, if you are in the area. I'm just kidding, if you are in Canada or Australia, it's, it will be hard for us to send it, so just if, if you are here near us. Meanwhile, the mixture has thickened. Zest this, right? Yes. Guys, no. do you eat oranges in the summer? We only eat oranges in the winter. I think in right? the summer it's watermelon time. Is this how you make this recipe? Do you have any advice or any other desserts that you want us to try? Make sure you drop them in the comments. You let us make know. sure what you want us to make for the next video, for our next Greek week. Do you think these recipes that we are making now are more like Cretan recipes or just Greek in general? I think Dakos is Cretan. I think Bureki is Cretan also. I know Bugatza is it's not Cretan, I mean, I think. But that one with Mizitra, it might be Cretan. Yeah, this is what we're gonna work with. Meanwhile, we need something because otherwise Amalia is gonna pass out. Look, it's perfect, just like a brush. So one like this, one thin? Yes. I guess. Okay, so next layer. Again. And repeat this for six. Filling. Mm, I expect it to be more filling. Yeah, I thought it's gonna be more. There we go. No, it doesn't look exactly like maybe you expected it to. But it's we have Amaya. to improvise a little bit because our tray is smaller than the normal tray and I have to crumble the sheets a little bit to make them fit so yeah, it good. is what it is, I think it's great let's put it in the oven Whoa! looks nice yeah, 30 minutes later final touch mm, smells so good final touch Touch it. Looks nice. Yeah. It looks really nice actually. I don't know if it's dry. I expect it to be dry. And cut it down the middle. If you want to contribute to this channel, send us some likes, comments, and subscribe. We're we trying. We're hungry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you burn your tongue? <laughs> <laughs> How it looks? What do you say? It's well. This made. is like 
you need the warning on the package do not eat it when it's hot <laughs> but it's really good it's very tasty i can feel the orange it's not that sweet though because no. we put half of the amount of sugar <laughs> if it's not that sweet we can put honey on it after half an hour <laughs> after we burned our tongues i expected the feeling inside to be so dry but it's not surprisingly okay it's hot Mmm, sweet enough, crunchy, creamy inside. I thought it's gonna be less creamy inside, less mm -hmm. filling, but it's enough. Yeah, it's enough filling. Why it's cutting so hard? Because you're cutting. Ah! I like the orange flavor in it. I like the texture too. I would give it an 8. Um, I would give it 7.5. You well, don't like it? I like it. It's not exceptional and we have something similar that is cremish that I really love and this is not like that. For me it's a 7.5, it's still good. Interesting. Yes. If you eat the whole thing, I will film you again. I will, up I will update my rate because <laughs> we have this much left. But Tell us Raul, what are we having yeah, for lunch? It's me. <laughs> The master chef again. We're gonna make a special traditional Cretan dish. It's called Dacos. Yeah, we will grate the tomatoes. And then this is our favorite dish. Four for me and three for you. Should be fun. We like to put mint in it, just a tiny sprinkle, and a bunch of salt. I will soak mine here. I would like mine just to soak them in the water for a tiny bit. It's, it's busy here. <laughs> I know it's busy. The tomatoes on top. Not the same one about my, my technique here. It's spectacular, I have to admit. The way you handle the spoon, amazing. The next step is Mizitra on top. Great technique over there. For me, I like it more with feta. Not that I don't like it with mezita, but I prefer it with feta. Yeah, we put plenty of cheese, sprinkle of olive oil on top, which is also called liquid gold. What are you doing that close to it? And there you go, the perfect tacos. Let's dig in. And now the taste test. As always. Yeah? You like it? Is it too crunchy for you? No, because it's already soft inside. And now for me? Let me have one of yours in Mizitra to see how it's like. To see if there is a difference between with feta on top and with Mizitra. I think it's kind of similar, yeah. depending on what you like. What's the rating? I will give it an 8. I will give it a 9 because I love it. We had this all summer so... Wait, can you share that with me? Just a bite. Please bite. A bite. A bite, Amalia. Why are you making me look bad now? I asked you how many you want and you said four. A Stop bite, it. just no. a bite. Boy, we have it. What are we having for this evening, Amalia? For this evening, I'm gonna prepare. I'm gonna make bureki. So it's basically potatoes with zucchini and cheese. This one is a lot of work, <laughs> but I'm gonna make it a bit easier. Yeah, we should try to use this one. Yeah, I will try to use it. This break is uh, when you mix little slices of uh, zucchini with potatoes, potatoes and cheese. Yeah, it's basically, it's a cretan dish, this one. So now I'm gonna use this, which we had last time, but I didn't realize <laughs> that I cut everything by knife. Please be careful, because knowing Amalia, it's better for me to do it, but if you want to do it, that's alright. Second of all, is this faster than with a knife? Of course it's faster, what do you mean? Good. 
And third, I thought this one is just as a design. I never to see anybody using it throughout my whole life. It's a mandolin, Raoul. What do you mean for design? Design this of the part, creator. This part. Such a thin slice. Yeah, yeah because they're all evenly sliced, although I did a great job last time too. Yeah, you're doing a great job every time. Raoul wants to play with the mandolin too. Uh, with the potatoes it's harder. <laughs> I mean, cut my hand. Very thin. Even though I have these big boys, it <laughs> doesn't help too much. <laughs> So now a little bit of an invention here. Flour and some baking powder. How much? This much? So basically you're supposed to have filo dough. But I don't have any. I no. thought I would just do a mix of flour and milk and put it on the top. We'll see how this turns out. I think it's a good idea. Your adaptations are always a good idea. You're supposed to layer this in even layers, like one potato, one zucchini and the cheese and everything. I don't really see the point. <laughs> I've seen there is a quicker way to do it. So we're gonna put everything in here. Adapting again. I've seen Effie doing this, so it's totally acceptable. You, you let us know if it's not. The zucchini. Okay, we're gonna put a bunch of olive oil. Yeah, Effie, if this is not turning up to be good, it's basically your fault. <laughs> like Effie, it's our neighbor and our friend. We're gonna start with some salt, some pepper, granulated stuff, garlic, onion. You're gonna mix them together. Some oregano. Oregano. And a lot of mint. Oh. Just put how much your, your heart tells you to. And it's gonna turn out great. This is how a great chef does it. And then a lot of cheese. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna leave a bit to put on the top. And now yeah. I will get my hands in the game. Get dirty. Yeah, well it's very time consuming to do it in the normal way. To cut it with I mean, a knife, yeah. then to put layer and layer and layer and layer. And I don't think it, it makes like such it a big yeah, it doesn't make for us definitely doesn't make such a big difference maybe for somebody who is used with a traditional recipe it will but for us it's still good i'm actually very curious if anybody else does it like this or you just invent it a new way so you tell us guys so now i'm gonna put this instead of the filo dough so i've never tried this before if it's not turning out to be like it's in your head yeah what are we eating then we're gonna eat it anyway what do you mean Okay, you spread it all over. Okay. Don't do this at home, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is for us Just to... find the recipe and follow it, don't do what I do. So this is for us to eat Greek all week. Some cheese. Oh my god, this has so much cheese. <laughs> After this week we're gonna gain like 10 pounds, 10 kilos. After this week we're gonna eat just salad for the another 3 weeks. After this series we're gonna make a series about eating salad for the whole month. Traditional oven. Wood. And pray for the best. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make a quick salad here. Actually, we really like this. Have you guys tried it? Like a really nice dressing, pomegranate dressing for salad. It's all done. Moment of truth. It looks... You haven't seen it yet. It looks nice, actually. Very interesting. What do you think? I'm starving actually. It's been one hour, my head hurts, everything hurts. It looks good. I haven't tried it yet to see if it's cooked, but it looks like it's cooked. Mmm, this is crunchy. Yeah, I think this is actually better than the filo because it's so crunchy and nice. Mmm, impressive actually. Everything is cooked, so I'm happy. Mm, this is really good. This, good. this crunchy thing on top. I don't know how you thought about this one, but you guys, you should try it. Mmm, mm. very good. It's very, very hot, very hot and it burns, but that crunch. Top, top one. Yeah, this is the best. Yeah? By far. With this crunch, these thin slices, way better. This is the best break I ever had. I would give it an um, 8.7. 8.9.
a fair 8.9. I will give it a 9. I think it's good. It's really good. 9 from me. Amazing. Guys, you should try this, this crust. I'm still impressed. I didn't invent it, Raul. <laughs> I don't know. You are a hero. 8.9 and this is your third portion? <laughs> Apologize publicly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good morning, Amalia. It's too early for this, to be honest with you. What are we eating this morning? Strapazzata. Strapazzata sounds like Italian. Maybe I said it with an Italian accent then. Strapazzata. Strapazzata. So it's like scrambled eggs with tomatoes. This is our take at Strapazzata. What do you think? Do you think you're gonna like this one? I'm not sure. I, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so? Why? Uh, because I don't like the combination cooked tomato with uh, eggs. But I guess we'll see, right? Olive oil, as usual. Everything starts with olive oil here. <laughs> In this Greek cuisine. I love garlic. <laughs> it smells... it's very strong. <laughs> it smells amazing. Need to be very quick here, I don't know what was I thinking. Now I need to do it. And with my left hand. It's not the hand that I cook with. Can you tell me how do you come with these cooking ideas? I had a lot of people actually helping me. I asked them in the comments, I asked them in our group. If you're not in our group, you should join it. Facebook group, that Facebook group, yeah. The link is in the description as always. A healthy breakfast and a tiny salad with olive oil and pomegranate vinegar. That looks yummy. I don't like it. You don't like it? I don't. I want to be honest with you. And I want to say I like it, but I don't like it. I don't hate it. I will eat it. <laughs> what is it that you don't like about it? I don't like the taste of the cooked tomato with egg. Sure. I like that you can feel the garlic. The texture is not bad. How would you rate it? I like it. It's not impressive. The one yesterday was way better. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I will give it a 7. It's not bad. I like it. Yeah. For me, I think it's a 4. Mm. This is the lowest rate yet in all the testing videos. Don't like it. Can't say much about it. You like more the snails? Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely eat some snails now. Coffee time. Sun is out. Look at this sun in the middle of October. So basically I will make a snack for us. Chestnuts. Look at them. Aren't them pretty? I will score them right here at the bottom. Hopefully I'm not gonna cut my fingers. This knife cuts like a fork. These are huge, look at this. Humongous. It's not easy, Raul, I'm telling you. You want me to do it? No. Let me do it because you cut your hand. Let me do it. I'm not gonna do it. Let me do it, please. Please don't do it like that. Amalia! Amalia, no. No. But you only need to do it like a little bit, not very deep. Here? No, here in the bottom. Here? In the bottom, Raul. I don't know which one is the bottom. That's the top, it's very clear. Yeah, it's better that way. Where do you do the cross? Do you do it here at the bottom or the, here? The, 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 the. Let me do it. So I'm gonna score all of them and then I'm gonna leave them to soak for a bit and then just pop them in the air fryer. This is a proper workout. So I'm gonna let them soak like this one eternity later. Chestnuts. Chestnuts are ready. As a dessert. As whatever you want them, they are very hot. Very hot, but they, you need to open them when they're hot. And these are your favorites. I love chestnuts. Oh! So it looks like this, and it tastes like. This is like a traditional Greek. Not really, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, you guys that does not do it this often. I mean, we love them, we eat them every year. I love them. Raul is like, if they're there, he will eat them. Do you have any tips on how to cook them and how to open them? Because clearly, we're struggling. Mm, they are so good. Is it worth to ask you what rating would you give them? 
I burn them a little bit, I will give them a 6. This is hard like rock. Hmm? A 6. Mediocre. 6.2. Lunch will be easy. We're just gonna have the leftover bureki we made for dinner. As you can see, someone ate a lot. <laughs> it was amazing. I ate three portions. I will update my rating from whatever it was to 9.2. How is Amalia the normal temperature bureki? This is really good even the next day. Yeah, it's great. Maybe it's better hot, but it's still very good. One thing I would say, yesterday after you made it, this crust was crunchy. Now it's just normal. Hello, beautiful girl. Here we go again, dinner this time. Today we're making, let's see if you can guess, Papuzakia. Now please get what that means. Aubergine with mini smith inside. It means little shoes. <laughs> so we're making shoes. I thought we were eating. We are eating shoes. Yeah, little shoes. The reason why I chose this recipe, thank you for asking, <laughs> is because I love eggplant. Mini smith. This dish is quite complex actually, you know, it's gonna take a while. The first time you were making it? Yeah. My first papuzzaki. I'm gonna place them here. This is my uh, kitchen area, my kitchen island, my office, you name it, it's everything. And I'm just gonna put some salt and pepper. Yeah, and olive oil, as usual. A little bit for everyone. I'm gonna turn them upside down. Let us know in the comments, have you had this before? You and can. definitely let me know what's your opinion on my cooking. I'm gonna stick them in the oven. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're gonna start making the sauce. I'm gonna start by chopping this huge onion. Olive oil. Olive oil, oil, okay. Onion in. Carrots. Celery goes in. So basically, the recipe calls for two cloves of garlic. That's why I put six. The meat goes in. Your part, open this. <laughs> I'm deglazing now. Wait, is it good? This is my cooking wine. <laughs> oh. Don't know exactly how much I put. I think that was I much. I put plenty. You know, this is supposed to be red wine, but we have white, so white will do. Yeah, you just have to let it simmer, slowly getting drunk. Okay, now the bechamel. It's basically butter, flour and milk. But I will add my secret thing in it. Too many secrets in this video, <laughs> I don't know. How do you have that many secrets? This is the team effort. I'm just scooping them a little bit. My job is here to taste. Taste this one for you guys. I will. Yeah, I'm just filling the papuzakia. Fill them with as much meat as possible. My patience is... I don't have patience. Especially when I'm hungry. That's why I started earlier today. Plenty. Can you feel my special ingredient? Yes, yes. It's cheese. Perfect good looking things. For how long? I don't know. Until they're ready. They look ready to me, Amalia. Why we need to go through this, this hell again? It's just how it goes, Raul. Sorry. Sorry to tell you. You don't have any more patience, right? Yes, that's right. I'm very hungry. I need to eat. Give me something to eat. Mmm, they look nice. I let them cool a little bit, but it looks so nice. It smells so nice. Mm. Guys, let me know in the comments. What do you think about my take? at making papuzakia. Have you had this dish? Do you like it? Do you eat it often? It's up or, or down? down. Mm. 
but it tastes it's really, really good. It's very good. The flavors are different though because yeah, we're different. not used to cinnamon, to nutmeg and stuff like that. We don't use it a lot in cooking, but this time I did, you know, I did it the proper way, the Greek way. Very good. And I thought really the good. eggplant or virgin was a bit bitter, but now you can feel it. And this bechamel cheese sauce makes a huge difference. How would you rate this one? How would you rate it? I really like it. Eggplant is one of my favorites, so for me it's 9.5. For me it's better than bureki. Mm, really? It has meat in it. What are we talking about? Meat, eggplant and cheese. It's 9.4 for me. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it takes so long. Good things take time, Raoul. I love it. Yeah. Papu chak, yeah. Thumbs up. Quick breakfast today because we already went out and we're starving. We haven't had anything. What do we have for our breakfast? So it's a simple thing today. Greek yogurt with honey, fruits and biscuits. Yeah. I mean, I know usually Greeks don't eat a lot in the morning. We Mom. do. We are very hungry. We eat eggs every day. This feels like a dessert. I know that the Greeks usually eat like a pastry or something like that in the morning. Let us know what you guys eat in the morning. Yeah. Please put in the comments what do you eat in the morning? Do you eat a dessert or like a pastry? I know there are many people that don't even like breakfast in the morning. They would just grab a coffee and eat lunch straight yeah. away. Yeah, but outside the only coffee, you need to eat something, maybe. But look yogurt? at these giants. I've never seen blueberries this big in my life like look at this the size of your eye let me see that this is huge <laughs> <It's> so stupid <laughs> it's bigger than my eye a bunch of this a bunch of the other ones and stick them just a drizzle i don't want a drizzle on mine <laughs> no 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 please please don't um, why it's part of the plating That's it! It looks amazing! It's not that sweet. It's not that sweet, but for us it's still sweet. I think it's good for a dessert. Yeah, yogurt with uh, honey and fruits. The best dessert you can have in the morning. And call it a breakfast. I will give it a 7. I will give it a 7 as well. A 7.4. 7.4. It's not. What are we cooking today, Amania? Today we're making something interesting. We're making mini spanakopita and spanakorizo, rice with spinach. Spinach day today. Traditional spanakopita, the famous one. First time doing it? Absolutely the first time. So I'm not sure how this is supposed to turn out, but we'll see. I will put the cheese actually, I think we're ready for that. There's a lot of cheese here. Yeah, we like a lot of cheese. Who doesn't? Mint, dill, parsley. Here we're cooking spinach with rice, which is called spanakorizo. And here we have the spanakopita. Uh, In the making. After you put the whole spinach and herbs, you put the rice and leave it there. Yeah. Do you need to mix it constantly or? Oh yeah, every now and then we need to mix it. You don't know how to use that? Not a single idea. It will be fun then. What do you do with strips like that? The triangles. We've melted the butter. You need a brush. We don't have that. So, we're gonna use what we have. Looks like a brush to me. Next. Butter. Take a bunch of this. You're supposed to do a triangle like this, maybe. But yeah, I like it. Little bit of butter again. Sprinkle some sesame seeds. There you have it. It's gonna take forever. Just how you like it. The first round inside the air fryer. 
So, Amalia, our first nice. panna copita looks hot. good so far. Good. Chunky, hot. Still. Yeah, it's great, incredibly good, like the one from the shop. Very tasty. How would you rate them? The inside is very good, it has a lot of cheese, very soft and crunchy on the outside. 8.6. How about you? The same, 8.5, very good. What feeling is that, Amalia? This is leftover papuzakia. <laughs> Papuzak copita. <laughs> is done looks as it should very good i will try the panna cotta so we'll be honest with you it's not that good what do you mean it's not that good it's as it should it's not for as a side. it should because i ate this when effie gave it to us and it was way better yeah. ours tastes a bit like water with weed <laughs> Not to me, sorry, <laughs> grass. <laughs> I think I put a bit too much water. The rice is a bit overcooked. I like it. I mean, I, for me, it's a seven. The dish is very good. I had it before. I didn't make it right. It's missing something. It's a five. It's a five. And there you go, guys. You should try it and see. And the one with the meat? Let me try it. Which one is? It's very hot down. Oh! Oh! <coughs> <laughs> Hot, hot, but let me tell you. It's good? Yeah, it's worth it. You'll burn your tongue. Okay. I can... think I like the Spanakopita better. Okay, Amalia, what are we eating today? So today we're making eggs with potatoes. I tried this before, but I make it differently usually. Now I'm gonna make it Greek style. What do you mean Greek style? Patates me avga. This is for breakfast, right? Yeah. This is how we start the day. Do you know that only a few countries have like specific uh, breakfast? England has like a traditional English breakfast. In France has like a traditional one. What's that? A croissant with baguette. <laughs> a croissant with I'm baguette. Just, just kidding, no, the words that I know. But so I know that Greeks don't eat a lot for breakfast. Usually they eat like a bag of pastry or something, coffee. We should do that yeah, tomorrow. We'll try that, yeah. A bunch of olive oil. I saw that normally they are cutting it long. There are different ways to do it. I saw that they cut big chunks and deep fry them or you know in different ways. I think if you cut them smaller they cook easier, <laughs> they cook faster and this is how much time I used to make them. I didn't know this is a Greek recipe. We used to eat it before. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks amazing. A little bit of feta cheese. A sprinkle of feta. A sprinkle of oregano. And that's it. Patates me amga. <laughs> Taste test. So good. Tell me, Raul, what do you think of my patates me amga? It's very good. I kind of feel a lot of feta which is nice mm. and the potatoes are cooked very good very nice it's amazing great breakfast to have how would you rate this i would rate it as a as an eight eight point four yeah for me it's an eight because you know it's amazing but it's not like it's eggs with potatoes but oh, it's better than eggs yeah, it's a breakfast, so I don't, I wouldn't say it's as complex. So an eight is a good, good grade. Can you give me a bit of half of that piece, please? No. Come on, please. You Begging had, you. You had yours. Stop it. I'm bigger than you, and you should split it not in a half. I should have a bigger portion. I don't care. Please, Amalia. Come on, Amalia. Look, all these people are looking at you. Have mercy. Okay, Amalia. What are we cooking for? Lunch. It's a soup with rice, chicken, 
And eggs, it's like, I need to make like an egg sauce. I think we never had that one before. Afgolemono. Afgolemono. So it's basically a sauce with the eggs and the lemon juice. A sauce? This is a thick soup, you know? It's not like the soup we are eating usually. That's very liquidy. I'm making this one because I asked in our group. If you're not in our group, you should be. So join. Yeah, Find join it. our Facebook group in description. I asked there what's your favorite dishes, your childhood dishes, and uh, somebody said about this one. So that's why I'm making it. It's like a sauce soup for us. It's gonna be. It's not a cream soup. It's not a cream soup. It's a thick soup. I don't know how to describe okay. it. Okay. And we're gonna like it because I'm starving again. The recipe calls for, you know, celery, which somebody forgot to buy. So we're making it without. <laughs> well, I'm happy that it has meat. Chicken meat. It's good for me. Yeah. And also, they say we need two cloves of garlic. <laughs> so I decided to put. 40,000. <laughs> I decided to put 10 because we are from Transylvania and we're vampires. So. <laughs> okay, let's yeah. hurry up because I'm starving. What do you mean, hurry up? Let's hurry up. I mean, I'm filming in a hurry. <laughs> You're cooking in a hurry. Because we're out of meat. So we're here to harvest. This is the meat. It's the only one we yeah. have. Please cut it because we need to go. Preparing the chicken stock, boiling the chicken quickly. So we need to put the um, carrots, onion, and then the garlic. Do you like garlic? Do you like garlic? Because I don't really do. Here you are eating a bunch of it. Yeah, because you do. Compromise, guys, compromise. Mm. This is how you make it work. <laughs> Olive oil in, carrots in. Our first Greek soup. I didn't even know that uh, Greek people have soup and this is because in Romania we have lots of soups yeah. but in UK there are not that many I think there are many countries where soup is not really a thing Do you have soup in your country? Like in Canada or in Australia, in US? Let us know in the comments if you have soup in your country Or if you eat it regularly I'm not crazy about the soup and I eat it only if it has meat in it. Onion in. I'm enthusiastic about this one because it's something new. Yeah. Every time when it's something new, I'm enthusiastic. And separately, we like all the ingredients. So let's see if we're a fan of the thick soup. I'm gonna put some of this stuff, chicken broth. It looks good, yeah, yeah. Let me give you my insider tip. I soaked this one for a few minutes before somebody told me to do this. Yeah, yeah, tip. Yeah, yeah, tip from the internet. <laughs> there we go. We, we are shredding the chicken. We should make them like that long. Mm, however, you prefer them. Yeah. You're eating or you're helping me? I'm helping you. By eating? We throw in the chicken. Do you think that's enough? Yes, it's enough. There is no soup left. <laughs> what kind of soup is this? I told you it's a creamy soup. It's not the usual soup. Lemon sauce now. Mixing eggs with lemon, right? Lemon juice, yeah. Very natural. This is a lot of lemon juice though. So this will be a sour soup. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And garlicky. I put some really hot soup from there. And we're gonna just... Slowly pour this in. So you don't cook the eggs? Yeah. Does that resemble with something that you've ever cooked? Wait until the end of the video because all the bloopers in this will be at the end. I'm just gonna mix this in here. Oh my god. Interesting color. And it's done. Put it in the bowls and leave it to cool down does this one look like you know how it's supposed to let us know in the comments did i do a good job or yeah, you did a, a mediocre great. one you did a great job <laughs> i have to give it to myself this looks amazing yeah, yeah. my first time when i see this kind of consistency <laughs> it's like a pudding okay i will try it okay okay very good it's very sour mm. and it feels so fresh Amalia. this is really good i really like it 
Alga lemon. But you did it perfect. I mean, you did it perfectly. Look at this. Alga lemon, guys. This is perfect because now it's getting cooler outside. I love it. Yeah, normally we don't have rice in our soups. Yeah, it's sour enough. Not too sour at the edge, I, I would say. I love it. It's perfect. Because I love sour things and I love garlic. But it doesn't feel too garlicky. Yeah, it's very good. I will give it 8.1. Very good. What? It's very good. And it has meat it's in it. It's so exigent, guys. Look at 8.1. With meat? I give it a 10. What the hell? wrong with you? 8.5. It's a soup. I don't really eat soup. <laughs> you're killing it, Raul. You're killing this series. What should I cook for you to give me a 10? Like, what? Can you imagine something? It's hard for me to give that high of a rating for a soup, even though it's great. It's a 10, guys. Just for the look at it, let us know in the comments what rating would you give. Here we go again. <laughs> Dinner, day four. Yemista. Yemista. Is this a hard one? It's time, not that hard. Time consuming? Yeah, definitely. Because I need to consume something. This is a very traditional dish, let's say. Here are all the ingredients. Okay, so a bunch of olive oil as usual. And then we put the potatoes. Look at her, little Yaya. Look at him. In case you're thinking he's not doing anything. Uh, 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 it's okay, uh, enough, enough show. I can do it with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> the potatoes. What are you doing now? I have to take out all the insides. And this onion. Do you know any tips for uh, when you cook or cut the onion not to cry? Because Amalia is crying every time when she cuts the onion. So if you have any tips... Raul please. should cut the onion. Best tip, please. Top comments. <laughs> please, somebody, please comment. Raul should cut the onion and the other ones, you should like that comment. <laughs> Those time for the rice. This is a complex recipe. We're both working on it. This one smells nice. Yeah, it smells like a cooking show. It's a bit sad that this one doesn't have meat in it. We have some extra meat. I will do a few of them with meat actually. Yeah? Yeah. 400 milliliters of water. And it, it looks kind of full to me. I know. But has great color. What do we have there? The secret ingredient. You put salt and pepper, right? Yes. I think it needs a bit. I think you don't trust me. The filling is ready. The vegetables are ready. And Amalia is cutting a ton of parsley. You don't think that's too much? It seems like a lot, but they just said a bunch of parsley. So here we go. <laughs> a big bunch of parsley. This is the meat we have to work with. I'm gonna compensate with some dry meat. And I think we have too much filling for how many vegetables we have. We definitely have too much filling, but we're gonna just put it around in the... like here, in between. <laughs> oh my god! Ali! <laughs> <laughs> give me a spoon, what are you, you doing? You drop it on my leg! When I say a spoon, I never mean this spoon. Give me a spatula. You think I'm reading your mind? Give me a spoon, like... How should I know you need a spatula? How is it? Needs more salt. There's never enough, never enough salt. <laughs> you're, you're cleaning my mess. <laughs> Guys, this is what loves look like. Yeah, but press it down more to... You know you should leave a little bit of space because rice is expanding. You should never leave that much space when you have that much feeling. It's better to expand outside than to stay here in the pan. It's gonna be here around it. If you have some vegetables at home, come here. We have plenty of filling for you to make some yemista. That's nice. And the kapak. Really nice, guys. What do you say about this? About how Amalia is cooking? What's your opinion about that? And if you are from outside Greece, 
and you love Greek food, this is a great video for you to try some recipes. Because I think we messed up half of the video, but still you can find half of very good information there. We did improvise a little bit, but you know. Everyone is improvising when they are cooking. We want to present you <laughs> our Yemista. This is something similar to the Greek one, but it's not that one. It's Yemista Pilafi. <laughs> You missed a Two in one. We had a lot of mixture left over. It is what it is. Nothing goes to waste. Doesn't look that bad. Looks alright. Half of them are with the classic Yemista filling. And then the other ones are with meat. I think it looks great. It, it, it doesn't look great. Let's be honest. It looks kind of mediocre. I hope it will taste great. If it doesn't taste great, guess what? There's nothing else We to have eat. three kilos of it. We had feeling for three yemista and you forgot, I forgot. You forgot to, to fill one tomato. Yes. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Is that? Ta da! <laughs> what the heck? What the heck is wrong with you? What's wrong? Come on, yeah. You need to, to feel the inside of the vegetables, not the inside of the tray. Guys, we were about to put the whole tray inside the oven with one pepper and one tomato empty. Can you check them just? Just to make sure? Yeah. Oh no, there's another one! No. I'm joking. <laughs> Already? Three hours later, it looks beautiful. It smells really nice. Dukas. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's so late, this can be considered breakfast. It's not that late, it's like 10 p.m. So it's a normal hour for Greeks to have their dinner. So I'm gonna have one with meat, one without. Yemista! <laughs> Let's try first the one without meat. Without meat. Mmm! I can feel everything. Mmm. The potato and now the one with the meat. This is so good. The one with the meat is not as good. No. It doesn't have. It's not the same mixture, you know this. Well, this one is amazing. Yeah. Mmm. This one. Yeah, Mister, it's really good. Really, really good. Even without the meat, something that I don't always like. If it doesn't have meat, but this one. It's really tasty. This is definitely the best one yet from this series. It's a 9.5 for me. And the only reason it's not a 10 is because it doesn't have just a bit of meat inside. A sprinkle of meat. <laughs> but. Mm -hmm. Top. 10. 9.5. <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated. In the oven for how much? For how much? For yeah. about 100 euros. <laughs> no waste in this whole house. <laughs> So it has a consistency. Never saw it again. It's like a pudding. Ne Never seen it again. Never, Never seen, seen it before. Never saw it again. <laughs> yeah. Can we have another one? <laughs> we have work to do. Go. Oh, oh. oh sorry. My foundation is all over your t shirt. <laughs> because you cut them so small, they. Uh, they are cooked. <laughs> because you didn't cut them the long way and you did like small dices, they had time to cook the whole... Very good. This is not very interesting, is it? <laughs> Peeling a potato. <laughs> uh, 
Spanakorizo, it's feeling good. Spanakorizo. <laughs> You have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs>